you know, at the beginning is very, it's very tough, especially when you go to the big five, you think, you, you, you think you're not gonna be able to complete this course. You, you think you're not gonna be able to pass this test because it's so much. If I finish my homework or if some questions came up or something, I would go into the live classes and I would, I will see all, all, uh, how you solve the homework and I check against what I what I did, you know. For me, it's, it's hard. I know everyone has a different, you know, approach to the test. Many people, you know, flag the the, the question they don't feel uh, sure about and they keep going and they come back. I realized during the practice exams that that didn't work for me. Hello, Vlad. Hey, Wasim, how are you? I'm doing very well, my friend. Congratulations on passing your FE Electrical on first attempt with me. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It's been a long process. Yeah, it's been a long, long journey, Vlad. Um, how about you give me a background of your academics when you graduated, you know, the job, where you're working at right now, and if you had previous jobs, and what type of routine you have, what motivated you, the whole nine yards. Well, I graduated back in 2020. Uh, I graduated from Florida International University. And right upon graduation, I started working uh, for Florida Power and Light as a protection and control engineer. You know, being in the field is, is extremely hard. You work long, long hours. Uh, sometimes you don't have a routine. You you know when you start, but you don't know when you get home. Uh, yeah. And well, back in 2020, uh, I was studying for the FE. Uh, life happened. I, I just bought your your uh, study guide back in 2020, uh, the, the edition number three, and I went through it. Uh, but as I said, life happened. I started this new job. I was a little stressed out, and well, it took me it took me a while to to come back to it. Uh, I think last year I contacted you at the end of the year, this back in December. Yes. And I, I told you my journey, I told you my struggles, I told you my my schedule and where can I put some hours of study. And I think you gave me a, a great uh, advice and, and guidance back then. Uh, and I think in, in January, when I when I realized that I wanted to get serious, uh, I, I started, I enrolled in your, in your six months, uh, six months uh, course and I started. Uh, it's just you know at the beginning is very it's very tough, especially when you go through the big five. You think you 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 think you're not gonna be able to complete this course. You you think you're not gonna be able to pass this test because it's so much. It's so much material. But uh, I mean, I I just uh, passed the test last week, and I did what. What you told me in our first meeting, I think after I enrolled in your course, we had like a 15 minute, uh, 15 minute conversation and I just went through the on demand. I did the mini exams. I did all the homework uh, and it worked for me. It, wor uh, it worked for me. Yeah. So to be quite honest, uh, I, during my 10 plus years of uh, experience as a practicing engineer, I did uh, a lot of different types of roles, uh, design engineering. I did um, um, maintenance support, uh, commissioning startup, and uh, power system studies. Um, so out of all of these roles, the ones that I found personally the most challenging, like physically draining, was field engineering. And for obvious reasons, and I, I did it for actually several months in Florida, in near Tampa. And uh, in during summer, it's it's extremely difficult. No matter how fit you are, it just, you know, in the Florida heat, it, it just becomes very, very difficult. And especially when it's a new plant and you're going up and down the flights of stairs. Um, I lost something like, I think, more than five pounds in a couple of weeks you know, or without an intentional weight loss, by the way, right? Um, long hours and studying for the exam, preparing for the exam, it's it's not easy. By the time you get back home and you're typically leaving early in the morning, if it's a morning session, a morning, uh, you know, a day shift. And exactly as you said, you don't know how long you're going to be staying there. 
And keeping your mind focused on exam preparation throughout that process, it's not an easy task. So I would love to know what your routine was. Like, how were you motivating yourself every single day for six months? And I think if not on daily basis, I don't think on daily basis you were contacting me, sending me emails, but definitely on a weekly basis, I was getting at least one email from you. Right. And then a follow up email. So I think our chain of emails was more than definitely more than 100 emails uh, back and forth. Right. So what was what kept you going on a weekly basis, on a daily basis um, for over five and a half, six months? You know, this is a to be honest, it was a constant battle. Uh, You know, it's a battle with your with your mind because uh, George, as you said, uh, most of the time, especially in, in Miami, we got a lot of traffic too. So it's not only your job yeah. being in the field. Then afterwards, you have to drive home. And after an hour and a half traffic, you have to get home, take a shower and, and sit down and study things that you haven't seen in, in, in years, to be honest with you. I, I haven't seen differential equation since 2016. Right. Yeah. So it's not only that you graduated in 2020, 2020. I mean, the first, uh, well, the last time you saw differential in, in really as a differential equation, yeah. it was even four years before because it was in first year engineering, right? So yeah, it goes yeah. back even further. Yeah. You're right. So uh, it was a constant battle. I said, you, I mean, I, I think I, I told you this uh, also the first time we met, this being a lifetime goal for me. I always wanted my FE, my P. Uh, and it's just, I, 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 am really like a self-motivated person. I, you know, when I have a goal, uh, I came to this country with 24 years old yeah. and I didn't speak any English. And yeah. so I, I've been working through the, you know, I, I've been working through it and this just, it was the same that I apply the same. I, un- I understand that the key to pass this exam was consistency. Um, right. That's that's what I pretty much apply. I mean, it's it's tough. It's I'm not I'm gonna be honest. It's not easy. It's it's a tough task. You have to you really commit yourself. But uh, if you really you know have the 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 discipline and and the consistency, you can you can do it. Just the same way. I do. Yeah. So during your exam preparation, Vlad, uh, I think you were attending some of the classes live, right? Or were you attending most of the live training classes through recordings? I was uh, pretty much going through the on-demand. Uh, after I finished the on-demand, uh, pretty much during the week, on the weekend, I will go and do the homework. And right. after I finish my homework or if some questions came up or something, I would go into the live classes and I would, I will see or uh, how you solve the homework and I check against what I what I did you know that I think that that helped me a lot I think the homework is is great Do, doing the homework was one of the things that I think really helped me to retain the knowledge and and to really you know uh, get a good grip of of what I was learning through the on demand right and uh, in terms of any days off were were there any extended breaks? You might have had to take like a day off, two days off, maybe a couple of days off, right? Here and there. Or uh, were there any such instances during your preparation? Yeah, I had I had we- uh, weeks of work that I was working 14, 16 hours. Uh, wow. I, rem- I remember like in the first month, I had like two weeks in a row that I was doing a lot of uh, maintenance and I was doing also like capital projects. And... That week in particular, like it was not back to back, but uh, two like in three weeks there was like two weeks that I couldn't study one hour. Wow! I was, I was really upset. I was, you know, but I was exhausted. I was sleeping six hours, and you know, I was. Uh, but I got back to it. Uh, I I was even a week then after in a- back in April I went to Spain. I was in Spain for a week, mm-hmm. but uh, as I said. I, I kept myself motivated. I, I said, I want to pass this test. I'm going to pass this test. Uh, and I kept working through the on-demand. Right. In terms of um, challenging sections, so I, I know that you were particularly concerned about some of the computer sections, communications, and controls, right? Primarily because 
you had not taken much coursework in these sections. So how did you go about these sections? Well, these sections, I uh, I watched the live class. I saw, I think you you uh, put the, the, how you call it, the low hanging fruits. The low hanging fruits, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, the, which are the, 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 the subjects that are easier uh, for these topics. And I went back, I watched uh, the, the videos for the on-demand. Uh, I did all the quizzes. I, I did all the quizzes for especially communication, computer systems, software engineering. Those three were the, 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 the most challenging for me, to be honest with you. But I, went, I, I watched the whole life class. Uh, I went back and I watched the on-demand of, of the topics that, uh, that I thought that I would be able to, to capitalize during the exam. I was, I was very practical, to be honest with you, with those topics. Especially, I think software engineering has a lot of videos. You have a lot of videos on it. And so I kind of, I was a little selective, uh, but I, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't scatim any effort. I, I did all the, all the homework. I watched the, the videos that I thought would be more beneficial for me during the exam. And that, that was, I, I think, to be honest with you, I, I think I, those subjects, I think I did great on the exam. On the second half, I, I think I did great on, on those topics. Yeah, not a lot of students can say that because a lot of students find uh, second half to be more challenging just because it has a lot more electrical and computer focused topics, which tend to be more theoretical, more convoluted and a lot more technical, right? Uh, in terms of time management, you were telling me that you got done with the exam 15 minutes to spare, right? You had 15 minutes on your hand. How did you manage the time? What was your strategy during the exam? Well, my strategy was, uh, I mean, I watched a lot of videos uh, on, on how to manage, you know, uh, stress during this type of exams and, and all of that. Uh, I talked to a few friends that took the exam recently. And I knew that in the first half, which is theoretically the, the easier one, yes. I, couldn't, I couldn't spend more than two hours and a half. So you gave yourself a yes. limit of two hours for the first time. Okay. Kind of the way you, you do it in your, in your practice exams. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. on, on your practice. So I said, I need to complete the first half uh, in two hours and a half and give myself then two hours and 50 minutes for the second part, which right. in, in my test also, I had less questions on the first part. Not, not, not by a lot, but I had like 52 and then 58 on the second part. Okay. And I think I... I finished the, the first half in, in two hours and 33 minutes, to be exact. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then for the second part, uh, I had two hours and 47 minutes. I, I went really fast through, through electronics, through power systems. Then I took a little more time in, in I think it was communication. Uh, I went through the, the software engineering. Data system, I, I think I did pretty well on that one as well. Computer networks. And with 15 minutes left, I was already done with all the 110 questions. I went back. I, I flagged a few questions. I, For me, it's, it's hard. I know everyone has a different, you know, approach to the test. Many people, you know, flag the, the, the question they don't feel uh, sure about. And they keep going and they come back. I realized during the practice exams that that didn't work for me. So I'm, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I take the, the, challenge, the challenge head on and, and uh, I was working uh, to, the, to, the, to the questions. And if I found, if, if I found the, the, the question like extremely hard, I had no idea, I would flag and I kept going and say, hey, maybe later I can go into the handbook. But I didn't flag many questions. I think I flagged four, four questions in the second half. And after uh, after that, I went back and I was able to solve two. Okay, that's great. I mean, you you did really well on the exam in that sense. And time management, if you have 15 minutes to spare, that's really impressive. Uh, but I'd like to remind again that Vlad was putting in tons and tons and tons of effort. It's not easy working 12-hour, 14-hour shifts and obviously back and forth commute and then studying and asking high quality questions. And one of the things I noticed, Vlad, in your 
emails as we progressed as you progressed along with your preparation was that the quality of questions was increasing right you started initially out with very basic questions for which sometimes i'd say that okay you know what check this lecture out i've already explained this and then it got to a point where you're like uh cross uh, referencing cross connecting different concepts right and digging in deeper and um and essentially operating at a much more higher um level of understanding which was great to see and um in your case since you are power systems engineer you're going to love the power exam preparation a lot more than if electrical and i'm confident that if you carry forward the same momentum that you have currently and um uh, in and the dedication and the commitment then the p power exam preparation is going to be a lot more fun for you and you have all the necessary mindset and you know the energy level and reasons to get it done hopefully by the end of this year the we are still in the middle it's summer yes, and hopefully by idea. end of 2024 you'll be done with both fe and pe that that's that's my idea and i i want to you know i i want to also uh, thank you because uh, i think one of the keys that i passed this exam is the the you know the constant communication we had sometimes you you face a a a special topic and you know you have a lot of questions you that creates a lot of doubts in yourself and just the the having the chance to to send you an email to get in contact with you and that you send me like a more explain uh you know that uh, detail uh, explanation uh, i think that that helped me a lot a lot to to go through the concepts Yeah, no, I appreciate that. I mean, I'm always willing to help my students um uh, and when students put in the time and effort, you know, I try to be there for them and um, you can contact me di- directly via email. I also have a community of um um students for both FE Electrical P Power and students can post questions over there. I personally onboard each and every student so that we get to know and because I know it's a long journey, right? I mean, you put in like uh 200 plus hours maybe up to 300 hours of study time 400. and you're 400 hours <laughs> okay 400 hours of study time that's impressive and we are at halfway point the job is half done and roughly it's going to take similar amount of effort moving forward into the pe power right so i recognize that it is a big commitment on the part of my students and if as a coach as a mentor as a guide you know i can um assist you and be there for you it's um it makes it it makes it easier for you to achieve the goal and um uh, also i get a sense of achievement out of that so thanks a lot vlad and i look forward to seeing you for p power and i appreciate your time and yesterday you said that you were up all night up all you know it was a day, day it was a night yeah, shift you were work overnight and then uh, i knew that the the result would come in the morning Right. So I I got home and the the result came around like eight eight thirty something around it, and I I wasn't able to sleep even though I was exhausted. But I think the the, the adrenaline was running through my veins, you know. Yeah, exactly. And I, and as I was mentioning that you are gonna remember this forever. The amount of effort and wait until you get your P power done. Um, and as an internationally trained engineer coming to the U, well, not uh, well, well, you did your undergraduate over here in the U.S., right? I I did all the undergrad here. Undergraduate here, but uh, you came here at age of twenty twenty four. You mentioned right. So still, I mean, there are a lot of other challenges you're de- dealing with in terms of a new country, a new place. language issues you mentioned but you speak english really well um so where there's a will there's a way and you're on a fast track in getting this done in a fairly short period of time so your story is inspirational and i hope that viewers who are watching this interview um it gives them confidence that if you have the similar level of effort put in the similar level of effort and have the same commitment you can also get this done in the first attempt thanks lad thank you thanks a lot wasim If you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of success stories of my FE electrical and PE power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of FE electrical and computer exam and the PE power exam then check out these playlists over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.